I was only going to start the video tomorrow, but I thought it is such a beautiful day today. I still had a couple more things to do. You can see the sun is out at full force. It's around 5 o'clock, but I have to head down to campus. You can see by the weather what I mean. A couple of clouds in the sky, sun is beaming, beautiful green everything. I can't remember the last time when I actually went out in shorts. I didn't have to take a jacket with me. Got no jacket with me. It said it's going to stay around 25 to about 10 o'clock tonight. So I thought, you know what? Let's walk down to campus instead of taking the bus. This is the first reason why I don't have a bike. You can see it's a never ending hill from the bottom all the way up to the top. This is the second reason. This is the hill. You can see it's pretty steep, really busy today. And there's one of the electric buses that I wanted to show you. I normally don't come to this campus too often because this is an engineering campus and they always have like cool electric cars and solar powered things. Well, that's I'll show you guys with it because I'm obviously at the medical campus which is at the hospital, so I don't get much time to come and visit here, but I thought I'd take you guys with me, show you guys what it's about. But if I sound a little bit congested and all that, I am a little bit sick, so please just bear with me, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Barely even took 10 minutes to get here. Now I need to go inside and find the library, and if I remember correctly, it was pretty close. That was really quiet in the library, so I couldn't talk in there, but you can see the library through that door there. And then they have this electric car. Pretty cool. You get a front on view, and then they have like a cafeteria and everything just downstairs there. And then more lecture rooms and all that around. This library is massive though, it's still there. Small rooms, a Zen garden downstairs and then more library, more levels, artwork and everything but this is pretty cool on the left side here there's like bean bags and that where you can sit and chill out and study all your friends and then another garden type thing this side more stairways and then more bean bags and all that to chill and study on. I don't know what you guys can see but that's university from there if you see it from the front on it looks like a hogswarts but then right in the distance like right on top where my fingers touching that is where i live that's actually the exact building so that's that's the distance between main campus and my apartment one thing that i really do love about norway is like all these old school wooden houses that are all done up in different colors and all that and then the second thing would be that it's six o'clock right now half past six and it's pretty much broad daylight outside and then obviously the closer you get to summer you have the 24 hour sun and right now it's a pretty nice time to be out this is the third reason why I don't have a bike this is the other way home it's way more scenic but it's longer a little bit less steep and then also there's some trees to cover you from the sun this is where I'm heading to right now called Bunpreest but man, I'm sweating. That walk was a lot harder than I thought. Wind freeze means bottom price or lowest price. I don't usually shop here because I think Kiwi and Rema are normally cheaper. But what I did is yesterday I was adamant I bought myself oats. But obviously I wasn't feeling well so I wasn't processing. I woke up this morning, couldn't find them anywhere. Ended up having to have chicken and rice for breakfast. So I'm not going to make that mistake again. Just going to stop in here. I'm not walking to Rema because that hill was brutal. So I'm just going to run in here and grab some oats. Oats, 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 cornflakes. This box of cornflakes was so big, I couldn't even fit in my bag. But 750 grams for 11 krona, be silly not to do it. But people are playing volleyball, people are tanning up there. That's where me and Fabi were earlier today. So everyone's still in the summer spirit. It's been such an interesting day today. So what I was doing, I was busy watching YouTube. I was getting all my clothing ready, like my different colors in order to go to the washing. And then if you're not following me on Instagram, hit me up, Callan Wesley, and then you'll see this is what happened. You can see that the fire alarm went off again. It goes off so often here because people, and we, this is a nine story building and the whole building has to evacuate. So we're downstairs for like 10 minutes. Now I'm going to get this done and then head to the laundry. Pretty unsuccessful. The laundry's in there, but unfortunately there was nothing available. But it's like 10 past 8. 
still really bright outside. This is my building, some construction. And then the laundry one was right in there. You'll be able to get a better look at it. So you can see like all the laundry machines and everything in there. So I need to take this back and then I'll probably head there. I'll just go online. They said there was no available booking, but sometimes you just go there and get lucky. So I'm gonna go put all this back in the apartment, make a booking for tomorrow morning and then have to do it then. Just for people that are new here and don't know, I live in Mohold Student B, which is the Mohold Student Village. Because NTNU is the biggest university in Norway, you can see we have like five of these massive towers all over the place. Then we have hundreds of these brick buildings that all have like four or five levels inside and lots and lots of different different rooms and apartments. You have your PhD students, this is a kindergarten up here and everything like that. But I was just busy sitting at my desk editing up the video and everything and I realized I was already close on six minutes of footage and you guys know that I said I want to, well B nearly stung me, you guys know what I said to you guys, I want to keep it around six to eight minutes, I don't want to make them long winded, I want to drag them out, but just make them fun, like really good quality, straight to the point, short videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, my next video that's going to be coming out is the day in the life and a medical faculty student, so I'll take you guys from when I wake up, I'll go down to the hospital, I'll show you guys the labs, be in a lab coat and show you guys the different equipment, the ultrasound and everything we get access to being part of the medical faculty. But that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had a, didn't have as much energy because I was feeling a little bit sick, but I just want to say I really appreciate you guys' support. If you're still watching at this time, you guys are amazing. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. If you're not already part of the family, hit that subscribe button. Let's grow together. Let's get better together and let's improve little by little every single day to achieve our goals. Thank you guys all so much for the support.